You ready? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, well, in case you just kind of saw this event, you're like, oh, it's a do-it-yourself art class. Well, I just wanted to tell you, um, it, it came up, uh, the opportunity came up from one of our ladies in our community. Uh, and we are part of a community called Southridge. And Southridge is a church that is located in Langley, British Columbia. And, um, and so, you know, there's a number of us ladies that meet, at least we, some of us meet weekly as a community. And so we just kind of do, uh, we, we do stuff together to learn about God. And, um, and we do fun events like this. So uh, one of our ladies in our Bible studies had said, hey, I can host a paint night. Maybe we could do it on Zoom. And I'm like, okay, maybe. So uh, we just kind of tried to figure it out. So you just have to bear with us a bit as we kind of transition to getting her uh, preparing the class. Um, so I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Lisa Stralo, and um, I serve on the leadership team of uh, Southridge Women. And so uh, I want to say a warm welcome to you all coming on and those of you that invited friends. We're so glad to have you. Um, and so as I mentioned to most of you earlier, we're going to try to do this more seminar style. So and we're recording this. So if you don't want to be recorded, you can just cover up your video and um, just watch along with us. So uh, yeah, and I will do my best to moderate any questions you might have throughout the class as Teresa is painting for us. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give that as the info for the night. And um, so, who is Southridge? We're part of uh, a church in Langley, BC. And I wanted to give you guys an opportunity uh, just to, to know that you're invited to um, our community. And I'm just going to show a, a quick slideshow, uh, or not slideshow, but just show some slides. Uh, to just give you a little bit of information about how you can connect with us. Um, tonight's art night was sparked uh, because I was saying with, with many of you ladies that uh, Teresa had just said, you know, I can do an art night. So she wanted to create uh, some fun for us to get together to, um, to just relax, you know, given what's been going on in the world. And I'm so thankful she did, and I'm so thankful that there's so many of you that wanted to do the same thing. So um, we appreciate that you could be here, and we're really, we're really thankful that you you've joined us. So, yeah. Uh, so as I was thinking about painting, and after talking with Teresa, uh, we know that it's just one of the ways that that we can create. There's a lot of other things we can do to be creative because we are creators. And we believe that we are creator. We are creative because we have a creator who created us, and um, and he made us in his image. And not just that, but this amazing creator sent his only son Jesus to this world to save us and to help us through the storms uh, and uncertainties of this life. And you know, COVID is a perfect example of like, wow, can our lives get flipped upside down? And what do we do? you know, in, in light of circumstances like that. And so, um, so we want Southridge, you know, think of Southridge as a, as a community that you could connect with, uh, you know, virtually for the time being. Hopefully we, ho we look forward to just giving you some opportunities to um, find ways to learn about uh, the God who made us and, um, and that you are welcome here regardless where you're at on your faith journey, because we're all on a journey. <laughs> None of us know, you know, everything about any of these uncertain times. And so, um, yeah. So if this is your first time to a church event, uh, albeit online, you belong here and we are really glad that you are here. So um, as you take a break from the uncertainties of your life and what you're going on, what's going on in your life, life tonight, we, um, we just wanna have some fun together. And so uh, Teresa's here and I'll just give you a little intro into who she is. She's an award-winning writer of educational poetry and children's books. Uh, she's a passionate painter who's worked in both oils and acrylics. She loves to do landscapes or seascapes, as you saw in the, the one picture that, uh, or one piece that we're gonna be working on tonight. And she has some of her work uh, on display at the Willow, Willowbrook Art Gallery here in Langley. So. Um, yeah, so I just thought it might be kind of fun to get to know her, a little bit of, of her story, just a, a short snippet before we get started. So bear with us. Um, 
So Teresa, do you want to come a little closer? Sure. <laughs> we're, we're, we're social distance. Yeah. So I just want you to know um, there's quite a distance here in the room, but uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your family oh. and background? Oh, okay. Well, I'm married and I have three children and I'm a grandmother with four grandchildren. And um, yeah, so we moved out here to Langley and I guess it was 2012 and we have a beautiful piece of property that I get to enjoy God's creation and to paint which is wonderful and it is really stunning here I'm so glad I'm here like this is it's just gorgeous here so um so your life was going you had a you know things have been good but then you told me that there were some dramatic things that happened in your life and you want to share about what happened oh well um for 25 years i actually was a teacher and a writer and about 10 i guess 12 years ago um we had a turn of events when we had a phone call from my son's wife saying that he had fallen off a ladder and broke his back and uh, we went through a year of therapy and being in the hospital and just I guess it was about 15 months later we had another phone call um, from Bermuda uh, where my eldest son was living um, saying that he um, was actually in a very dire situation and um, they didn't think he was going to make it through the night. Um, as things turned out um, dealing with both these um, tragedies, um, which now I can say I'm blessed to see their lives are turned around, although they both are in wheelchairs, and but they both love, love God and have wonderful families. And um, needless to say for me, um, writing and teaching and um, following along that path, um, it was really a very heavy thing. So I was very blessed to live in this wonderful area. And I thought I would take my hand up in painting. And that was since our son came back from Bermuda, he's living with us. And um, once things settled down, then I was able to have the support of my family and got into painting, which I'm very blessed to be able to do and although the struggles were hard through those years um, God was still faithful and uh, he encouraged me with Psalm 35 um, which was the weeping may be at night joy comes in the morning and that's where I can say I'm truly blessed is God has been there every step of the way and he has blessed the times that I've had and enjoyed in painting and I hope tonight that you as well enjoy tonight have fun um, and we hope to end up with a painting at the end of the night so without further ado do you want to begin is everybody ready you guys ready you got everything kind of ready okay I know some of you may have painted before and others are new to it but, but I want, want to start, start off with talking about the theory of nines. And I'm not sure if, if you know that or not, but when you look at your canvas, we look at it as nine squares on the canvas. So we go from bottom to top and from side to side. So that forms nine equal squares. The most important part on your canvas and the area that you're going to have focal points would be these two lines coming down here. So in the painting that we're looking at, you can see the trees are both on those lines. So we're going to start off by painting our sky and what I'd like you to do is think about the top 
third of your canvas. We're going to take, you've got your paint all on there. And what I want you to do is mix a third of your blue with two thirds of white. So a third blue and two thirds white. We want to make that quite light. What we're concentrating on here now is going to be the sky. And so we want to have that fairly light. Yes, okay. So a third blue and two thirds, if you use your brush is fine. Yeah, you can use a palette knife or you can use a brush to mix that. And once you have that done, just rinse off your, your brush, make sure it's well rinsed and then wipe it off. So we're going to start off by using our two inch brush. Does everybody have a two inch brush? Yeah, okay. We're gonna use the top third of our canvas and we're just going to go across with our blue. Can you see okay? My blue is not white. Okay, you add more white to your You did a lot of white. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. If it looks a bit dark, on your canvas, just add a bit more white to it. Don't worry about it, girls. Just, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Right? Yeah. And if at the end, because this is the first layer, you find that your sky is too dark, we can still lighten it. So don't worry about it. No, sorry, here it is. Okay, so. Okay, I've got to come down a bit. Okay, so we're just going the top third there. Okay, make sure you wash your brush. Okay, everybody got that? Okay. So the two inch brush. Yes, your two inch brush. So everybody got their brushes washed and use your paper towel to just dry it off. How are we doing there? Good, that's good, thumbs up. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to mix a third red, a third green, and a third white. You should end up with something similar to that color there.
Okay, make sure you wash your brush off with acrylic. It dries very quickly. So you want to make sure you wash your brushes after you use it each time and dry it off with your paper towels. Okay, I want you to go on to your, uh, use, no, use your two inch brush still, okay? And what we're going to do now is we're going to be working on the pathway. You see the pathway there? So you're going to be wider at the bottom of your canvas and going in thinner towards the line that you did your skyline. So you'll end up at your path here. And where we're working, I talked about the, those two lines being the most important lines. We're going to move up our canvas, going towards the center, move up our canvas, going towards the center, and ending up on this line here. Okay, has everybody got that? So And just start at the top here and just work your way down and kind of work the pathway out. Don't go past this line here. Okay, everybody okay on that? Make sure, you, again, wash your brushes off. Okay. So now we're going to use our blue, wet your brush a little bit, and put it into your blue. Use a one inch brush. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is working on the left and then going to the right and doing our rocks. Okay, with the blue. So your brush, you're going to take your brush, work from the pathway, go out and down towards the bottom of your canvas. And they don't have to be perfect. Okay, in fact, the more unperfect they are, the better. And they don't all have to be the same size. So what's up, what, what brush? Okay. What brush? So your one inch brush. Okay. And we're just going to make rocks going along the way here. Again, you can attach it to this to the first rock, go up. Can you see okay, Lisa? Oh, yeah. Okay. This picture I took actually, um, 
I went over to Maine Island with a dear friend. She came out from Ontario. In fact, I think she's even on tonight. That's Tracy. And her and her daughter and my daughter and I went over to Maine Island and we had a wonderful time there, got a lot of photos and I've taken, uh, painted so many paintings from Maine Island. It really had an impact on me. So continue going up to about here on your canvas with your rocks and over on the side here as well. We'll come back into it and highlight and do the shading at the end. So right now we're just getting the form there. So you can have smaller ones, different shaped ones. And just fill that in right to the end of it to the right side of your canvas And if your paint happens to be drying out a bit, just use your spray bottle to spray over your paint. How are you doing there, Rose? It's okay, just, it's okay. It's all right. Is everybody having fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad it's abstract. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you probably would never see blue rocks <laughs> in nature, <laughs> but it's the way I paint. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go on to the left side and take your brush and go the opposite way when you're painting it. So move your brush this way. So from right to left. And again, it doesn't have to be absolutely, you know, round or whatever, because rocks are all different shapes and sizes. Wet your brush if the, the paint is drying out a little bit. Okay. Okay, so wash off your 
brushes if you're done that on the left hand side and you're just going up about almost to um, the top of that third the bottom third Okay, how's it going? Good, okay. So now, um, I want you to mix half red and half yellow together. We're looking at now the trees. And when you do paint something to give it perspective, especially in your, your trees, you're gonna paint the darker ones at the beginning going lighter to the back. And that'll give you that sense of perspective. So use your one inch brush and we're gonna start here. And we're going to go all the way up. Slow down a little bit. Oh, okay. Sorry if I'm going too quickly for some. Now, a bit earlier, you mixed your white, your red, and your blue together, or your green. Um, take some of that mixture and you can get a little bit of a darker shade on this first tree. Sorry, um, you're using what color combination again? Um, red and yellow, am I right? And go right up to the top of your painting. Okay, sorry, it's yellow. How's and it? yellow, yellow and red. red. Don't worry, your definition will come when we do the highlighting. Good. Okay. And this brush. Yeah, okay. one inch brush. Now, you can add a bit more yellow to that red mixture. And so what we want to do is we want to give the appearance that we're going back. So, if you look along the path here, there's we've got a few trees there. So we're going to, you can turn your one inch brush on its side and go to the next spot, just up on your pathway and do a thinner tree going up. Now, if that doesn't seem lighter than the first tree, you can lighten it with adding a bit more yellow to it. Okay. And we can Add a dot of white to the next tree. And what we're doing is going along the path and the trees are getting shorter and shorter, but we want to have it appear that it's going, we're going into the the pathway so now if you want to add a tree 
you know, somewhere else, you can do that. In between, you can do that. And for those that have done a few trees there, we're just gonna take the, the colors that we have right now and just brush it just slightly going across this way. So now if you want to mix your yellow, I would say mix maybe a third yellow and two thirds blue and it'll come out with a greeny shade. I don't know if that shows up green. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And we're just gonna go kind of in between here. Now everybody's will look a little bit different because we're all not using the same color yellow and the same color blue. Um, if anybody wants to know the exact colors that I used in um, the original painting, then you can just maybe text me or um, text Lisa and then I'll give her the color, the colors, the exact ones that I used in there. Add a bit of blue between that. Okay, and now we're gonna draw some more, or paint some more rocks in your blue. Just small little rocks. Mm -hmm. Okay, use a bit of your red there and you can paint some different colored rocks in there. Still keeping your one inch brush, make sure you wash it off and dry it. Use a bit of your yellow and we're just going to go back here with a bit of yellow. Okay, go back to, we're gonna now do the trees on the left side. Is everybody at this point right now where they can start the trees? How's it? Just make sure you're washing off your, your brushes each time. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're gonna start. So our trees are going to be a mixture of yellow and red. And let's do that half and half. Okay. Okay. No, they're they're saying they're not they're the they're not doing okay yet. So. Okay, it's all right. I can hold on a bit here. Yeah, the yellow just yeah. on the left hand side. Okay. What's that? We need lots of yellow. Yeah, <laughs> like action. Uh, uh, well, if you kept your palette white or your uh, canvas. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh my God. That's fine. No. My practice run. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, are we ready to go on? Yeah? Getting on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. We're okay? okay. I think so. Okay, good. Um, so, we're going to now go and do the trees on this side, okay? And this one, we're just going to do a little bit of a turn on it. Okay, and come back down. To make this a little deeper in color, let's add a little bit of green to our red and yellow mixture. And it should come out deeper. Okay. There. Actually, this one here, we can just kind of bring it up like that. We okay? I'm going to do another tree just there. And we'll do a few back here. Let's just see. Okay, 
so now we're going to do still trees, but we're going to go into our blue. So wash off your brush. Think anybody needs a little bit of a break? What time are we at? Uh, we are at seven fifty-one. Okay. Um, would anybody like to take a two-minute break? <laughs> they have to <laughs> going. Yeah. To get if you need to go or anything, I'll give you two minutes. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm ready to be like that. Yeah. Okay. You too, if you need to. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, you know, don't worry about this because I'm not, I'm not because we're going to um, <clears throat> highlight it. Okay. okay, and then we're going to do some shading. Okay, but I'm so I'm really you, like I'm really behind, but it's not. It's that's behind. okay. That's okay. Um, just do a bit of blue up here. Yeah, yeah. You know, even do some lighter. You know, it goes really quick, actually. Yeah, I'm so you get into it. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And it's very relaxing. It's it good. is. Yeah. Okay, and you can do this. Look at what I'm doing. See, that just gives a bit of texture to your, your rocks. I'm just wishing I okay. had a bigger yeah. canvas. It's like, it's like, I thought I'd make her one. one. I should have no, let you no. use it. No, it's okay. Yeah, I love your rocks. Wow. Well, yeah, <laughs> they're, no, they're, they're for me. Great. They're for me. With that's nothing. great. Okay, is that two minutes or one? <laughs> one more to go. One more okay, I think I'm just gonna drink the water. Yeah. Okay, I think we're so well. Wow, gosh, we're really moving along here. Yeah. If we're going to, if she's going too fast, just just type in the comments. Yeah. Um, sorry if I'm we'll, going too fast. And we'll hold still. What do you need a? So how did you really get into the painting? Like what? Like were you were you on vacation? Were you at home? Like did somebody invite you to paint with you? Like how did you actually start well, painting? Because I mean I know it came out of that season of life, but yeah, it was just something that I I I just kind of got into, didn't I, Rose? Mm -hmm. I was you know just thinking this would be something nice to do, and mm -hmm. um, so for Christmas I asked for you know, paints and everything. And then my husband bought me everything that I needed to get going. And so at first it was a, a little bit of a, you know, I mean, you have to develop over time. And mm -hmm. I've been so blessed mm -hmm. to have really good instructors. So, so you would take classes. Oh yeah, I took classes. Took classes. Yeah, classes. I took okay. classes. And I mean, what does a class like this cost? Um, well, it varies. So if you're, you know, it probably costs. Let me think. For an hour. Because the the ones that I took were generally, you know, maybe six hours, and it was two fifty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. but then also I've been very blessed to have um, Laura Armbruster, who's an amazing painter. She's 89 years old. And every Tuesday we were meeting here. Wow. And so I've been able to be under her tutelage for so many years, which, and what's interesting is, for people who want to get into painting yeah. is, even though um, there's this style here, and that may not necessarily be your style, mm -hmm. um, you'll find techniques that will be similar, but palettes may be different. So if you decide to um, take any further instruction, you can always learn something from one of your instructors. So. Yeah, you know, and it, it, what uh, I found as well is when I was holding classes here and Laura was running the classes or she was teaching, mm -hmm. everybody was doing the same thing and everybody had their own style. 
And that's what's wonderful about painting. I mean, God has this wonderful thing for us to do, but we all come out with our own style. So, yeah. Yeah, but okay, it's somebody, just- Somebody's asking how to make their screen bigger. I think it's Karen. Um, select Teresa, uh, select her picture. And um, you wanna, I see she's up on the far you right. Wanna hit uh, speaker view. Speaker view. So, because uh, if everybody's muted. Okay, she said thank you. You got it. Okay, good. Yeah. And Tracy is saying something. Is she? Are you in the chat, Tracy? Tracy, you can chat. Hey, is that your Tracy? No, oh. no, no. I don't see my Tracy. Trace, she could unmute. Tracy, Tracy Evans, you can unmute if you're here and well, say if hello. You're not here, you can't. <laughs> yeah, it's not letting me unmute her. That's really weird. Oh, really? She can't unmute? Hi, this is Tracy Lewis. But, um, okay, and then can you hear me? Just, to, just a moment. Can you go into the chat, Tracy? Just let her know. Let Lisa know that what your trouble is. Okay, we're going to do some blue trees. I'll just text her. Okay. Use a little bit of the blue that you used for the sky and mix it in with your darker blue. And that's going to be Oh, she's like, I think I have it. What's that? She got me. She got me. I was able to meet her. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. 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 Moving on. I'm just adding a bit of yellow to the green, putting it in here. Okay, we're gonna do some highlighting now. Mm -hmm. So mix your yellow with your green and quite a bit of yellow. I'd say, you know, three quarters yellow, one quarter green. Okay, everybody ready? Now we're just gonna highlight on some of these rocks. Do it on both sides, like both sides of your canvas. Okay, and if you want to add a bit of green to your red, you're going to get a brownie tone. So then just Take that over some of your rocks so all your rocks aren't the same color. Here I'm just going to have a rock that's going to be more flat on the top.
and very lightly go over your rocks with your yellow just to give it some shape and texture okay but don't do it heavily like you've done your your highlighting here <laughs> okay, make sure you wash off your brush. I'm learning lots. Like, this is my first official class. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh. Well, we still have a lot to do here. Okay, so we go to nine or what's that? We go to nine. We go to nine. Yeah. We'll probably need, you know, the time. Okay, I need the white. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. okay, all right, now we're going to use our half inch brush. We're going to take our blue and add a little bit of the, the sky blue that you did, the blue for your sky. Not too much, you still want it a little bit. Okay, now you're going to come across this way not all the way. And just shadow. Yeah. You're going to create some shadows here. Go along this side of the pathway. <clears throat> with the blue. With the blue, with the sorry. Blue, that's okay, because I can see the screen. So with the blue along that path. On the left-hand side. Close it out. And then here, the same thing. just down to where you created the shadows from the trees here. Forgives those. What's that? It forgives those overlaps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, and you're gonna <laughs> bring a bit of it in here. Okay. Now we're gonna add a tiny bit of black to your blue so just um like mostly blue and a dab of black and we're just gonna make a just a squiggly kind of mark going down like that okay just across across your Kind of like that. Mm. Okay. Maybe do one just a little darker in here. What's the matter? Oh, I think I'm just going to make, make you front and center. Try to. Have some shadows coming across here. So 
this creates like a blending um of shadowing yeah okay. so now we're going to do the shadowing on the rocks we did some highlights now we're going to do some shadows So just to the, you've got your, what we're doing here is your light is coming from this direction. And so we've got the light on this side. Now we're going to do the shadows on the left side of the rocks and use your mixture of black and blue. I'm just going to try to move this a bit closer. Is it hard to see? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, you still need that, right? No, I don't. No? Okay. No. Good. Just to get me started. Move too. that, and then are we okay. able to bring your out of it? Is that possible to turn it like that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh. Is it the light mostly? No, it's just. Is that better, ladies? Yes. No. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> we try to zoom it in a bit. Uh -huh. Hopefully, a little better. It was fine, and it looks looks a little. Yeah. We just have to use. We have to use our listening skills very well. <laughs> okay, so we're just doing the shadows on. You can also do a little bit of an outline because one rock will reflect on the other. So you can do the line there. Are we okay? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Okay, and the same on the other side, on the left side of your painting, using still the blue with a dollop of black in there, mostly blue. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but. How's everybody doing? Uh, I think okay. okay. Please just comment if you need anything. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to add a little bit more blue to that bluey mixture and black. And what we're going to do is just go down the left hand side of your trees. Isn't that lovely how the birds are singing? I know. I, I hope the ladies can hear them. They're just wonderful. Okay, I'm going to just go over with a bit of this. I don't really like the way that's looking so dark like that. So just go over with the color that you painted, that your red and yellow mixture. And just go over the blue. Okay, so it's not so harsh. And let's bring and try to blend that into the tree. Are you using a different brush for that? Um, I'm using the same one inch. Sorry. Okay. Same one so inch. With same, red. Yeah. Okay. And where you did your black on the blacky blue on one side, mm -hmm. you're gonna go down, you see. Because what we're doing is creating a shadow. Okay. So you have to do it while the paint is still wet. Mm -hmm. 
your blue is still wet. So this is gonna give some texture to your tree. And if you want, just add a little bit of water to it and that'll help to move it along. And then use your red mixture. It's okay if you're mixing the colors here between the red and the black and the, the black and blue on your canvas. Because what we want to do is create texture in the trees. This one, I just turn my one inch brush on its side and then just add a little bit of water to it and dollop it on your paper towel. and just do all your trees like that. I'm gonna make this one into a thick one. I originally did it as two, but you can make it into one. Okay, now still using your one inch brush. We haven't moved on to the others too much, but that's okay. Let it just dry for a minute. If we had a blow dryer, you'd use a blow dryer at this point. <laughs> Okay, so now let me just, it's still sticky. So, mm, so we need a little, a little dry time. But yeah, we need to have our canvas dry a bit. Can you guys hear my voice from here? Okay, can somebody just say yes or thumb up or something? Yes, okay, good. Um, I'm gonna just see if I can now share what I wanted to share with you about how to connect because I, I think I figured out my problem while we wait. Uh, let's see. How's it going? Good. Are you guys having fun yet? I'm good, good. So you highlight it? And now you just want to do the okay. shadows on the other side. I want to get the trees on the other side. Too. Oh yeah. I okay. I didn't get it. We can do this tomorrow too. Well, yeah. All right. So I will just share a little bit about Southridge and uh, ways that you could connect to uh, to us virtually, at least for the time being. And um, maybe you have, maybe you already have a church you belong to, but if you don't. We would love to uh, invite you to join us. We are meeting online at 10 a.m. on Sundays. And uh, let me just pull that up. There we go. Let's close that. Yeah. 
So uh, on Facebook, uh, let me tell you about us in this community. Um, there are a couple of groups. So to find out more about events like this, uh, you can, if you, if you follow this page, you will get all the events that we have coming up. And obviously right now, most, most things are virtual uh, for the time being until things start to open up. Um, but there's also this group where you can find out if you're in the local area, uh, what's going on locally here as well. So we invite you to check out uh, that. You can also connect with us on Instagram. Uh, you just have to go to Southridge Women and you can follow us there. Uh, we just got this started uh, a couple of months ago, uh, but we can, you know, we just pepper some encouragement into your day, days, uh, and so you can find us there as well. Um, and even if you are, you know, in another province and you're you're free on a Wednesday morning. Um, we have a virtual Bible study that we're doing. Um, and we're starting that next week. Uh, we have groups that are gonna meet at 10 a.m. or 7 p.m. Uh, via Zoom. And that information uh, you can find if you subscribe to, or if you follow our page with the event information, you can get this information and we'd love to have you. Um, and this is a time where uh, we, we spend a little bit of time, uh, you know, discussing uh, the, the book of the Bible that, or sorry, the chapter of this book of the Bible. And so if you don't know anything about the Bible, this would be a great place for you to maybe start. And um, we'd love to, we'd love to have you join us there. And uh, we break out into small groups, so it's not like you have to share. We, we just welcome any lady who would want to learn more about, about connecting uh, in this way. Uh, so there is a, a page specifically for this. Uh, if you are in the local area and it, you would find it here, Southridge Real Mornings. But again, you know, you would, you can get all the event information uh, here at, at this page. Uh, and if that doesn't work for you and you don't want to plug into a community, uh, we are on YouTube. And so uh, on YouTube, you can watch short videos uh, pertaining to uh, what we're learning in small groups. So you could, you know, if you're wanting to follow along uh, with, with any of our studies, they're going to be listed under the playlist. So we just finished a Bible study, uh, first and second Thessalonians. And so you can watch those short videos after reading uh, the, the book or the chapter of the Bible that we were doing. And there's questions are associated right there in YouTube if YouTube is uh, something that might interest you. Uh, so, as I said, uh, this community tonight, we're, we're the women of Southridge that gather to do things, but, um, but we are uh, just a part of a bigger community, which is our church, Southridge Fellowship, and so you can find us uh, on Facebook. You can find us, obviously, I mentioned earlier, um, southridgefellowship.ca. And, uh, or you can follow here. And so if you wanted to watch, uh, connect with us on a Sunday morning, we would love to have you. We have a live stream every week right now. And so uh, you can check us out, check, just to have a sense of who we are. If you went to the website, you could, you could learn more about us that way. So coming up, uh, we have a prayer night. It's a prayer meeting. So if you are, you know, wanting some prayer in, in your life. Uh, there's a group that are going to be meeting again virtually uh, via Zoom on next Tuesday from 7 to 8 Pacific time. And we welcome anyone who would want to come and just join in that. If that is something that you need or uh, want to learn more about, we would love, love to have you. So as I said, we're we're so grateful that you guys were able to be here with us, or you ladies were able to be here with us tonight and to have Teresa. Um, but we just want you to know that you belong here and you can plug in no matter where you live. So, yeah, I think, are we drying up? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Back to the painting. So now we're just going to um, make some foliage on the trees. And this is a fun thing to do, and you don't have to be too detailed, okay? So it's just, all you're doing is just going back and forth with your brush. 
Add a little yellow into your green. You know, and you're gonna get a little bit of a different green. Add a little bit of blue into your green. And again, you're gonna get a little bit of a different color. So just have fun with it. My brush is a little bit dry, so make sure your brush is nice and, and wet. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and red to the green and just do a bit in here. And again, have fun with it. Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> it's abstract. <laughs> yeah, it's just having fun. It's all you're doing. Okay, let's do a little bit of a deeper green. So add a bit more blue to your green. Okay, and we're just gonna Okay, so it's not perfect. And we're gonna be, do a bit down here, like, and just fill it in. Okay, now, what we wanna do is do a little bit of yellow and add some white to that. And since we have the light coming from this side, we're gonna just highlight a bit. Just, just touch the edges. Just a little bit here and there. Then we're gonna add more blue to our green. And on underneath your trees, usually underneath the branches, you're gonna have some shadows. So just fill in the shadows at the bottom of where you're um, your branches are going to start. Hey, okay, how are you doing there, Lisa? Good, I think. Good. Okay, so what time are we? Oh gee, we're doing pretty good for timing. So I'll tell you one thing. This will end up doing this painting. You'll see it at the end. But even if you wanna go back into it tomorrow, if you think, oh, that's not quite right, then just touch it up a bit. That's usually what I do. I keep it on my easel until it's signed. Once it's signed, usually I'm finished, but I have been known to uh, actually bring it back out and go back into it again. So <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, so we want to do a bit of highlighting on the trees, on the trunks. So make sure if you use your half inch, Now mix your, your red with about two thirds of your yellow. I need to have more yellow here, guys. Rose, do you have yellow? Yellow? Sorry, I'm bogging the paint. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, so mix your yellow in with your red, but more yellow than red. <laughs> and we're just going to do a bit of highlighting. Okay, so just go down the right side of your trees. You don't have to go the whole way. What's that? It's almost like an orange. Yeah. Oh, wow. I know her painting looks like it's blending right into her backyard. Yeah. <laughs> it, it looks really beautiful. Small. Just highlight those trees a little bit. So because the light is coming up this way, that's why we're doing the highlighting on the right-hand side of the tree. Okay. Okay, now. Use your, your quarter inch, your quarter inch brush. Now, you want to take it, go into your white. And we're just going to highlight now at the back here. Yeah, white, white. <laughs> just between the trees here. And coming right over. <laughs> okay. What happened? Oh, it's okay. I, I can fix it. I mean, that's the nice thing about this. You can just fix it. I yeah, find absolutely. It. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't it have to be perfect. That's it. Okay, so just touch a bit. This is the light hitting the back trees here. Yeah, and you're really using white, white. And a bit of white maybe back in here. Just like that. Yeah, that looks good. It's amazing how similar, you know, your original piece can be to this. Is it? Yeah. Like the ladies can't see that. So, huh. If we can put it up. Okay. So we yeah, so the, the pathway's not finished, but like. So we're going to be going up with the blue. Use your half inch. Okay, and make sure your brush is wet enough. And we're just going to be going up the pathway. I think I did that a little too heavy. But that's okay. This is. So what did you use for that? Just a bit of the blue? Just a bit of the blue. Okay. How did you blend it with a paper towel? A paper towel. I used the paper towel, guys. Okay. Use whatever you got. <laughs> You keep going. You're good. What color are you using for the path over the pathway? And then a little bit of the um, the green and red. 
And what we're doing is just marking the pathway here, just because it's dirt and it's not perfect. Okay. You can use, yeah, you can use anything. So I'm just going back over and highlighting where Okay. Okay. Thanks for that. Is that is that done? That's done. Oh, okay. I forgot to do this part. What part? Like the trees and the, right. the white. Actually, the oh yeah, do the, the and then this. I notice when I stand back. Often, what I do with my paintings is, you know, you're working so close to your canvas. It's good to stand back and have a look too. So let's just put a little more white in here. This is going between the trees. That's going right across there. Do you um, name your paintings? You yes. Them? Yeah. This is um, Main Island Pathway. So, what was the story behind that? You were you were mm. at? Well, um, we it was interesting because last uh, two years ago, mm -hmm. um, my friend. Tracy, who lives out in Coburg, Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, I went out there in June and we did a road trip and went through um, from Coburg all the way up to Montreal and then up to Quebec City, down through a thousand islands and Prince Edward County and um, went to Ottawa and all the way back um, to Coburg. And so that was at the beginning of the summer. And every year I try to make a trip so I can get lots of photos from different areas. So then I go back in and that's my, um, those are my photos I use for mm -hmm. material to paint. So at the end of the summer, um, Tracy came out here with her daughter Meredith and um, we did the Gulf Islands. So we did Salt Spring, went to Pender Island, um, Main Island, and Galliano Island, and got tons of amazing wow. photos. And so this was one of the places that we went to. Now, I took a little bit of liberty on it, mm -hmm. because if you've seen the photo, it's not exactly the same. I changed the pathway a little bit, and, um, you know, and then I do my own thing, you know, with the colors and that. But that was a wonderful trip. We, you know, had fun. There was, you know, two moms and their daughters and just hanging out and on the beach. And, you know, we rented a villa and it was, it was lovely. So, yeah. So this year, uh, we were actually, Rose and I were planning on, go, my uh, friend Rose and I were planning on going to Nova Scotia. And then COVID happened so i'm not sure we're whether we'll actually get there this year so but you know what what you just shared is inspirational because like for all of us i mean it's summer yeah and we just got to make the most of our local products, like where we, where we are or, or state yeah. and you know find some inspiration and yeah and I, I've got inspiration just right here. Langley is such a beautiful place if you live in Langley um, or the Lower Mainland, anywhere actually in, in Canada, Canada itself. I mean, we've got such a vast land, but it's all so gorgeous and so diverse. 
so beautiful. God has just created such a wonderful country in Canada <laughs> and the beauty that we have. Yeah, so I'm just very thankful that all of you joined in tonight. Um, maybe if you're bold and you want to, yeah. um, you can turn your paintings yes. around and everybody can share their painting. You know, that would be awesome, ladies. If you feel comfortable, uh, just stay muted, but you know, show your your picture if you want to, and I'll take a photo. Um, oh, look at that one! That's gorgeous, Karen. I think it's super fun, Karen Ann. That's gorgeous. Wow, beautiful, Gina. Oh, it, that's wonderful, Lisa. Gee, this is exciting. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Are you gonna, is anybody else gonna show us? I'd love to just see the pictures if you, if you feel comfortable, I mean. Pam and I. That's beautiful, Tracy. Done yet. Wow. So is there, a, a, does anybody have any questions about, <laughs> one moment about this process? Our... Excellent, Carl. Oh no, that's, that's, um. Isn't that Julie? Julie, yeah. that's beautiful. Oh, there she's got a yeah. wonderful. And Naomi. Or did you undo it? No, or off the video. That's really great, Nancy and Kathleen, was it? So you can tell her. Oh, that's gorgeous. And now who is that, Julie? Who's Charlotte. that? Charlotte. Hi. I forget what's her name. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. It says she's with Julie. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, that's gorgeous. Look at them. Wow. I okay, know. so I want to take a picture. Uh, Kathleen's, look, okay. let me see, Jennifer. Or oh, Julie, we can't hear her. Oh, shucks. Hang on. That is so funny. Hey, Julie. Maybe because we're on speaker view. Let's see. Oh, my. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, let's see Kathleen. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> What's that? Oh, man. I don't know why oh, we can't. I can't see it on, maybe on, on yours? No. Does it? Should. Okay, cool. should. Yeah, OK. Say, well, let's see what happens. I like yours way better. <laughs> yeah, I do. I <laughs> might get some echo. <laughs> Or anybody has any questions? Um, yeah. They can maybe go in the chat if they can't get Yeah, I don't know why we're not hearing you ladies. Uh, there a lot of them are, are muted. Yeah. Hi, Delina. Yeah. Oh, here, I can hear them here. Hi, Tracy. Oh, okay. Hi, thanks for doing the class. So yeah. Just, um, can you show me your painting, Tracy? Yes. Well, yes, I have to fix it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Tracy, oh, that yeah. is lovely. Fine. <laughs> oh, Nancy, beautiful. You know, from a distance, it looks really good, huh? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Thank you, you for fun? sharing. Did you have fun? Good. Yes. yes. Yeah? Yes. Excellent. Awesome. Okay. Laura, where's your painting? Show us your painting, Laura. Where do, where do we send the finished result to? You know what? Why don't you ladies? Oh, very nice. Oh, wow. See, you know, we should get it to it. I like it. I'll send it in the chat. I'm not sure they're hearing me. Okay. I can hear you. Oh, you can? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, how about this? What if you all take a photo of your finished piece and you could just post it wherever you saw this? Um, I'm not sure if the end stays up, but maybe you can go to Southridge Women and post it there. Um, yeah, we somehow we can get it. Okay. Do you want to give any last any last comments or um, now? Does anybody have? 
Okay, ladies, I don't know why we can't hear. We've got the two computers on this end and I can hear it on one, but not on the other, but we just wanna thank you for joining us and hope you had fun. And so, um, yeah, take a picture of your finished product and post it where you uh, saw this event and we'll try to gather them together or share it with the lady who invited you. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Thank you so on, much. I guess it's been wonderful. Yeah, thank you for joining us and hope you have a wonderful thank evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.